Welcome back to another edition of Solve. Today we are working on a 2023 Tesla Model 3. Took off the hubcaps and if you take them off, that's what it looks like. And then you can buy the lug nut covers unless they're still on there. And what we're doing today is we're replacing the front and rear deflector plate. That is what's left of the rear deflector plate. Yeah, that's a piece of plastic. It has a bolt hole in it. I think there's 11 or 12 bolts that hold it. This here is the front, which we're gonna to get to in just a moment. But let me show you the finished product underneath what it looks like. It's about $180 on Amazon for the front and the back. This is what it looks like here. Nice solid steel. Uh, I mean, I don't know how solid it is, but certainly more solid than plastic. And what happened was this customer had gone through a, a bad rainstorm and the puddle just decimated the plastic somehow I guess just couldn't handle it and underneath here is electrical components the orange high voltage wire you got your battery pack all the way down there sorry for the angle and I should have taken a video but back here underneath here there is an oil filter for oh there it is right there I don't know if you can see it oh, let me see if I can. is it there where is it? Oh, it's right here. Let's see if I can clean off a spot. Yeah, that's it right there. See that right there? Ah. Sorry. There it is. That is a legit oil filter for the electric motor. So anybody ever tells you there's no oil in this motor, there most certainly is. It even comes with the attachment of the L bracket for the inner wheel well liner. It is a nice complete kit. This is what it looks like. You have your bolts here, two there. You got your bolts here. You got five across the back. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six back here. Then you got one over here. And like I said, this, this has a uh, plastic push pin that comes with it. I'll show you on the old one in the corner that holds the inner wheel well liner. And uh, obviously that's not gonna work. So they gave you that bracket, which is really nice. Uh, let's go to the front and uh, you already see what it looks like now. Comes with some extra hardware, but as long as you still have your hardware, I'd recommend doing it unless uh, like that L bracket is necessary. Uh, I would like to point out, um, Speaking of oil filters, yes, this is a Tesla Model 3. Anything looks strange here other than the fact that it's a symbol for oil? How about that it's backwards? Oh, look at the echo. This is made pretty well. All right, let's get to the front. Enough clowning around. Come on up. Good. All right, so now that we got the front skid plate or what's left of it off, uh, I was hoping to see if there was an oil symbol on the old one, uh, but there are nine bolts on this one. Let's go take a peek underneath. Elon, a little disappointing, Elon. You should have just gone with the metal ones and not depended on the aftermarket community. All right, so put the light on. This is what it looks like when you remove uh, the bottom skid plate. Personally, this is your AC system here. Uh, this is about, let me see here. Can I shrink this? No, I can't shrink it. There is probably a good 12 to 14 inches of more frunk that they could have put in here uh, as far as under the hood or bonnet, whatever you call it for the trunk space. Remember, kids, stay away from anything orange unless you are trained and understand what that is. And in a nutshell, that's extremely high voltage. So if you want to feel what 1.21 gigawatts feels like, go ahead and give it a touch. That's not recommended. That is just for information purposes. There's your steering, electric steering rack and pinion. That is your AC system. And it looks like some other kind of hydraulic unit over here. It's Oh, that's the coolant. Okay, that makes sense. That's probably for the radiator. That's a, an amazing design. 
Here's your electric motor right there for the steering column that goes right there. All right, so we're gonna put this back together now and I'll show you what it looks like after. I did wanna make one other note. Um, remember I said that there is an oil symbol with an oil door. Uh, it does make sense. My colleague here reminded me that this vehicle that he has is a Model 3 rear wheel drive but if you have the dual motor, yes, you would need an oil filter access panel for the front motor. But ironically, he also mentioned another good point, which is the rear skid plate metal uh, doesn't have an oil filter access panel, but there is an oil filter there. Can we say ball dropping Tesla? All right, let's put this pile back together. So here's uh, the inside of this skid plate. And just like the rear skid plate, I did forget to uh, mention, when you get it uh, delivered, it comes in two pieces and it comes with fasteners for you to connect it right here. So as you see, the seam is right down the middle. Uh, there's the inside of the would-be oil filter if you had the dual motor. So that does actually make a lot more sense that you would have it. But it's a rear wheel drive, this model. So you have an oil filter access panel that you don't need and the back skid plate where you do need it. Duh. All right, so just to recap, we went from this. I'll do it in all one shot. To this here. There's your oil change center. If you have a dual motor, and it's going to be this corner bolt here, not the inverted Torx, but the 10 millimeter. They're all 10 millimeters, except these two, one here on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. That's a 15 millimeter. The metal washer that you see here was really a part of the original plastic, but I figured it'd be good to use anyway. We torqued it down. And then, so you have one here, one here, one here and then one here so four across the back two 15 millimeters then you have in the front one two three four and then of course you have the one in the center that's it for this edition of solved hopefully this helped you or if you know somebody that it may help don't forget to like subscribe and follow if you have any questions don't hesitate to uh, send them our way. We'll get to them as soon as we can. Until next time, thanks for watching this edition of Solved. Stay safe and healthy.